What are we about to go do, Big Chief? Ah. Uh, we're about to go see if we can get, make sure that powerhouse on the back of that bullet. We're gonna make sure the bullet can handle it. Boy, that's awesome. Y'all see that? It ain't gonna work. Watch this. I was gonna try to hide it, you know. What I'll do, I'll hide it this way. Bobby Jean. Look at that. What's going on, Bobby Jean? It's always a unforeseeable. I mean, it's just. I gotta wash my hands and I'll be ready. Well, folks, uh, if you look around me here, I don't know if you can tell it, but the leaves are changing colors. Usually, when the leaves are changing colors, we're in the deer stand, but today is different. Today, my dad has purchased him a Mercury 225 Pro XS. The only reason why he did that is because his last one blew up. He had it rebuilt and it blew up again. So he, he decided to fully send it. Did you fully send it on this one? What? On this right here. You went ahead and sent it, didn't you? You didn't go with no used motor. No, no, you no. didn't. You didn't do no bull crap on this one, did you? Calls up. It's all about that warranty. And I'll go ahead and tell you by the day that I'm having. I don't know if I need to go. Tell you the truth. I mean, we can go deer hunting if you want. To. I don't think I need to do that. I, cause I'm more than more than happy to do that. Cause uh, went and run to try to get in shape, you know. And as I was running. Pine straw, you know, I like running pine straw because it's soft. Knees. You ain't going to be able to hear you throwing around that garbage can. I like running pine straw because it's soft on my knees. Yeah. Well, I run out of pine straw. I went to get back on the road. Rolled my ankle and fell on the asphalt. <laughs> Man, I would love to see that one. That's it. We just cleaned up now, but cut my hands up. I ain't even looked at my shoulder because a barrel rolled and then bounced up and <laughs> let's go. Well folks, we're gonna get on the road. See y'all in the truck. I don't want to ace that one. Make sure that thing don't lift too much. Does he think it's gonna lift up? Barrel roll? <laughs> he said you get too much lift on there, it's, it's rough. Well folks, big chief's worried we're gonna <laughs> flip over and we're gonna do an endo. We're gonna flip the old bullet over this today but anyway we've got to break this boat motor in is what we're doing because it's brand new fresh so what we gotta we gotta run it at what rpm 4500 4500 rpm two hours for two hours and every 10 minutes a one minute wide open throttle i'll go ahead and tell you the difference in the wide open throttle with me and probably with somebody else is hmm my wide open throttle ain't gonna be that wide open right now until I get used to this motor. So. The thing is, is uh, you see, Mother Goose hates these uh, boats, boat yeah. motors like this that run real fast. And when he was explaining all this to us of what he's got to do, he never included the one minute open throttle after every 10 minute interval. So I just, I just now heard about that. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what that's all about. And, uh, <laughs> In the short term, I don't know how this is gonna go. In the short term, when you're reading about it, they call it WOT. What does that mean? Wide open throttle. Well, look, it's a bullet with a boat motor that's supposedly an ungodly hole shot with a prop that's supposed to make it even a better hole shot. So basically, we should be on plane as soon as we hit he the throttle. He told me when I hit the throttle, I probably need to start trimming up. I mean, if you want me to get over and drive it, you know, I've got pretty much, pretty much uh, clued in on how to drive these things. I've drove mine like five times. I've got this camera and then I've got the gimbal that's going to be on the boat with it. So if we uh, flip this thing, we're losing a whole lot more than just a bullet. We're losing a $500 gimbal and a, five, a $600 camera. I plan on not flipping it. I'm going to get the drone out of there one day when you're going wide open. And you know what I'm going to name the title of the video? Right. W.O.T. There you do. Wide open okay. drop. Do that. It'll probably make Gwen like a Grammy for a short film award or something. You asking me or yeah. telling me? Oh, I was yeah, asking. Yeah, this is it. This is it, right? Yeah, here. I thought you was asking. We going, we going to the top on this one. Or telling me, yeah. We're going. We're going somewhere. I don't know where we're at, though. 
probably going to Bob the Lake. <laughs> Hit him with the old uh, camera blackout. Well, folks, we'll see you at the boat ramp. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get you, just use your hand. Oh. There you go. Go ahead and go all the way to the camera. What? <laughs> it's going to be choppy. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. Finally made it out of the lake, as you can see. So we'll see you out on the boat. Very big chief. I hope so. I'm nervous. Folks, with this uh, new Mercury Pro uh, Pro XS 225 four-stroke, I'm all new to this whole digital game, but this thing's got some kind of app on it. And if I get the folks to, let's see, it shows the wind that's blowing like crazy. Let me see if I, I, I ain't really uh, looked at it too much, but let's see. This guy showed me out there. We, we could have to edit this. Look, that's where it shows you where, where the motor is at right now. GPS. Just tap. That's the screen that it's on right now. But he did something. Click on your vessel up there, top right. Uh oh, there it was. No more engine data is available. Monitor these pages. <laughs> Why did it do that? If it's like hell with this thing, we ain't even run it two hours. Twelve point four volts. I don't know what that is. Your temperature. Engine hours. We got point five engine hours on it so far. And then you like you go up here to maintenance. And it tells you, oil 100 hours replace, belt 300 hours replace, inspect, inspect. I mean, this thing basically it does it all. Can you not crank it up from there? No. Uh, I thought you could do that. You might can when you get the digital controls, but I couldn't afford that. Oh. Did y'all hear that? Folks, I was as nervous as a dog crapping for simmons putting this thing in the water. But let me tell you something. Outer outdoors, bushy outfitters. Nobody knows what bushy outfitters. Well, that's old school. And Team Mert, they're back in action. We're gonna be hammering some. I, I might not catch no fish. But by golly, I'll be passing some folks. Back in action. This is just toying around with it, and I hit 78 on one stretch, and then from the trussle to here, I think it said 76 something before his camera flipped back. And that's just that's just on short stretches. I need some calm water. If I get a sheet of ice, I, I, I'm gonna stretch it out. Right now, I'm still a little fearful of it. So now we're gonna work on loading it on the trailer. If I could get somebody to pan around to the right, and, and this this is a no weight zone right here. Pan around to the good. No weight zone. No weight zone. They know better. They know better. 
going. I mean, that's the Johnny D and Clutch special there. Golly, man, that's what happens when you get idiots driving boats. So we ain't hating on you. Just learn what you're doing. So we're gonna load this thing up and we're gonna get out of here. Skilly wing. How would you rate the boat motor test one? Test one out of ten? Yeah. I'm gonna say ten. Did she drive good? She drove beautiful. I gotta get used to the um, and they told me with this lower unit I had to get used to the steering on it. When I got on up there around 70, 75, it was a little, you could tell it was stiffer than the Pro Max I had. Pro Max was a little, you just had to feel it. But this one right here is like a little stiffer. And if it does start to get squirrely, I've got to compensate for it, figure out how to drive it. But first time out and at wide open throttle, just playing with the trim for the one minute they said, 78. We were running a Bravo 1 27.5 pitch prop and Lawrenceburg Marine put it on there and uh, I ain't trying to look for no sponsors off of them for Ider Outdoors or nothing but they told me the setup I'd need. They set the uh, height from the jack plate, put the height on it. They said, you know, if anything I'd go two clicks up. I'll be honest with you, I, I don't think I'm going to mess with it. The next time you see this thing, folks, I promise you it will not have road film on it and come March, just the first sign of warm weather, Outer Outdoors is going to be out here catching bass and hauling. Yeah. Just, just send it? You want me to send it? Just send it. YOLO, please. YOLO, Bobby Jane said, Outer Outdoors is going to be catching bass and hauling ass. <laughs>